Alexa, what day is it? Today is Saturday, March 4th. Okay, today is Saturday, March 4th. I thought I would try to blog um, like a day in the life of a realtor and it is about 16 degrees out. It is now 8 o'clock. I've been up since probably 6 o'clock. Got an email about 6.30. Um, I have two clients and 10 homes that I'm showing today. I have no makeup on, it's not a good look. So I am going to grab a quick bite to eat. I've had my coffee already, shower, get ready, and I need to be out of here in a little over an hour. All done. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.16 a.m. Good. So I'm heading out the door. I try to get um, to my showings five minutes early just to be there which is great, but then <laughs> when a client's like 15 minutes late, but I'm waiting around for 20 minutes, so that's not very good. Um, but just text me, if you're running late, just text me, it's all I ask. People run late, there's traffic, I understand. So just grabbing a water for the road. Sometimes I'll grab an espresso from the Nespresso machine, but, <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll make an espresso. These are wishing me a good day, aren't you kitties? <clears throat> They're gonna be all by themselves today. My husband's working all day. He'll get home at like nine o'clock. Hopefully I'm home by six o'clock. That would be lovely. So I have my iced espresso in my Disney Cruise glass. So I'm rocking my flats today. We have 10 houses to show. Most houses have two flights of stairs, so that's 20 flights of stairs. I was in my 20s, I used to rock heels or wedges when I'd show houses, but not anymore. Lovely car. I have been car searching the last three weeks because I had a fender bender and the floodlight, I think it's a floodlight, whatever it is. Flux capacitor, something. Okay, I have a tip for realtors. If you are showing like six houses and you, um, you should get in your car early and then put all of them in your GPS backwards in the order that you're going to go and show them. And the reason being, that way you can just go in after you leave a showing and hit previous and then it'll be right there and you don't have to spend like two minutes in the driveway and putting it before you go to the next listing. And the first um, place I'm going to is on the main line. It's in Devon. I showed this place three weeks ago and then my client had to take a trip unexpe unexpectedly to China so he's back from China and wants to take a look at these two places again and yeah I think they're in the low 200s I've been on the market a while I think they don't have a basement so that's part of it and it was a bad snowstorm when I showed it last time and that's when I actually got into my fender bender <laughs> okay just arrived so this is two places for sale the first one we're gonna see is an in unit and then the second one is an interior unit that's a little more updated. So yesterday I uh, talked to two sellers. The market is super hot right now. If, you know, things, the inventory is low and things are going really quickly depending on the school district and the condition of the property. People are saying rates could go up to 5% this summer. Buyers are out right now hoping to get the lower rate. They just dropped, I think, to 4.1%. Um, this past week from 4.15. Um, I probably will have um, two places to look at. Maybe it'll take 30 minutes. They're right next to each other. Just depends. Some people will take 15 minutes to go through a place. I've had people who um, go through a house and they're there for an hour and a half and you know it's like their house. Like they love it if they're there an hour and a half. 
So, um, but this is an investor and I would say we're out here by 1030, 1045 if he wants to um, just talk about making an offer. Oh my God. So I don't think I've ever done this before. I think because I was recording and walking out the door. I left all of the listing sheets for my 10 showings at home. Um, wow, that was a big fail, Laura. Big, big fail. I've never done that. So basically, I have all the listing full sheets, the MLS sheets printed out. And then on top, I have the time and then the showing instructions. And um, we get emailed the access information. So I'll be able to pull it up on my phone, what the lockbox combos are for these two. And then I guess I'm headed home back to Westchester and get those listing sheets. Yeah. Okay, 1048. So it took a little longer. The first place had sellers were home. And um, that always takes a while because they like to ask a lot of questions and explain a lot of things. Now I have to head back home and pick up all my listings since I left them. But it went well. The, he likes um, the unit that's been fixed up. He's looking to buy it as a rental. Um, it's probably going to rent for $1,700 a month. They're asking, I think, like two fifteen dollars or something. I can't look at my sheet because I forgot it. Uh, I think they're asking two fifteen. dollars um, in this area, rentals are um, scarce. There's low inventory of rentals, and you can get a lot as a landlord. So. Back home, that was, I think it was like almost 40 miles on my car. <sighs> the next place I have to be at is like 10, 15 minutes away, and it's um, in Westchester at 1 o'clock. Alexa. What time is it? The time is 11.20 a.m. Oh, so I have like an hour and 15 minutes to scrounge up something to eat. Um, maybe check my email since I'll be on the road for another six hours probably.